Hi folks, general tarot reason. You know, it's a general. Take what applies to you and let the rest go. If you're high resonating, you'll understand the message for you. If you're low resonating, you'll have things that you need to work on. This is a timeless reading. When you see it is when you're supposed to see it. So, I'll ask Archangel Night Ultra Protection for all his Archangel Uriel for the knowledge that we all need to help us in life. Archangel uh, Gabriel for the justice in life for wrongs done unto us. And Archangel Raphael for healing that we need financially, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and mentally. So begin, as usual, with the fire element of Aries. Aries, you've got eight of cups. In your personal life, your relationship, or your work situation, you're walking away, you've had enough, you've experienced everything there is to experience, and you're going away towards the light in search of your ninth cup, which is ultimate happiness and wish fulfillment in life. Leo, Leo, you've got the seven of cups in your personal life, your relationship, in your work situation. You've got choices to make. Now, choose wisely. Give your choices a lot of consideration as to the possible outcomes to your actions and your choices that you're going to make. Watch out for the snakes tempting you or leading you into stuff that won't be good for you in the long run. Watch out for narcissists, people taking your kindness for advantages for themselves. You've got seven choices. As the days unfold, you'll experience these choices. Just take care, right? Get consideration. Sagittarius, what have you got in your personal life, your relationship, and your work situation? A gift to the Ace of Pentacles for the heavens. God gifted me the Ace of Pentacles. A windfall, finances, uh, an upturn in your financial situation. Either a, a win or an inheritance could be coming or the seed to plan an inheritance or a legacy for future generations to start on it, to build on it your future generations. Moving on to the earth signs, Taurus, what's happening in your personal life, relationship and work situation. You have a queen of cups, a beautiful energy. It balanced your feeling love for yourself, your partner, if you've got one. Uh, and what you do for a living, your career. Excellent energy. Virgo, what's going on with you in your personal life, your work situation, and your relationship? Your high priestess, 
So a high priestess is somebody that's been to hell and back in life. Male or female, it's the energy we're talking about. You know to trust your gut feelings in situations. You know that if it's anything in life and applying to yourself, any decisions that you need to make, you know to go within your life experiences and where it's led you to. Same with your relationship and in your work situation. Capricorn, what's going on with you? <clears throat> Excellent energy, Capricorn. In your personal life, your relationships, in your career or your work situation, you're celebrating, you're celebrating with friends and family or loved ones. There's an energy of celebration about you. Celebrating yourself, your partner, and what it is you do for a living. <clears throat> Moving on to the air elements. Aquarius. Aquarius, you have the page of swords. So in your personal life, your relationship and your work situation, you're being studious. You're studying, <clears throat> maybe in books and stuff, uh, and having ideas about how to improve yourself, how to improve your relationship and how to improve your work situation. Uh, Gemini, what's going on with you? Beautiful star. So Gemini, in yourself, your relationship, if you've got one, in your work situation, you're embodying the energies of the star. You're shining bright, right? You're within yourself realising there's only one of you in the whole universe. And appreciating and loving yourself for being that one of you in your relationship you're being looked upon like a star or potential suitors are seeing you as a star in your work arena you're being viewed as a star as well shining bright motivating other people around about you and stuff very good Libra what you got Libra, you have a knight of swords. Your own energy in your personal life, your relationship and your work situation, you have a determination instilled within you to achieve your goals, personal goals, relationship goals and work goals and you're going at them at pace. The only warning with this is don't be too uh, too much in a hurry to reach your destination that you miss out valuable details. It's a good energy, but just apply caution and don't go too fast towards things that you miss out important details. Moving on to the water element, Cancer. Cancer, you have the Ace of Wands, excellent. In your personal life, your relationship and your work, you've got the passion to achieve your desired outcome. With the Ace of Wands, your, your third eye is, is lit. It's illuminated. You've got your ideas that you need to keep you motivated to reach your goals in life. Well done, Cancer. Scorpio, what's going on with you? Scorpio, you have a tower in your personal life, your relationship and your work situation. Now, 
some people fear the tower, but I never hear it like that in my reading. The tower is the end of an old way, right? It's similar to the death card, right? It's it, it's applied to your foundation, right? In everything you've ever known, right? Like your yourself, the way you look at yourself, the way you look at relationships, the way you look at work, it has all been reshoot up. It's been it's been shaken up with the tower coming down, right? Could be changes going on around about you that you you don't agree with, you're not happy with. Some could maybe even be frightening temporarily, right? But the card is always a good energy in that it's your ancestors. Seeing what you're doing, doing here on earth, shaking things up to place you in a better position only because you wouldn't do it yourself, right? So, last but not least, um, Pisces. Pisces, what are you dealing with? Hmm. <laughs> Four of Cups. So, Pisces, in your personal life, your love life, in your work situation, you're not, not that you're not content, right? You're bored, right? You're bored. You're bored with yourself. You want to shake yourself up. Maybe get a haircut, whatever it is be a bit more interest and follow more interest in pursuits in life, take up a hobby or an interest or learn something new. In a relationship you've been there, seen it, done it, you 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 want something higher and more meaningful. And in your work situation pretty much the same. You want purpose, you want uh, someone that's going to fulfill you and be rewarding in life, you know, you're just bored, you know, but it will get better, you know, boredom's not a bad energy to be sitting in, there could be worse, so anyway, that's your readings, folks, uh, if you like it, me love her and TikTok, and a wee like, share, and subscribe on my YouTube Magician channel and I'll love you and leave you.